Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So watch me in this video. In this video, I will tell you how to launch Amazon EC2 instance using AWS CLI tool. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before we start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is AWS CLI tool and its use cases. So as you can see, as you can see on my screen, the AWS CLI interface is unified tool to manage your AWS services with just one tool to download and configure. You can uh, control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through scripts. The AWS CLI version 2 offers several new features including improved installer, new configuration options such as AWS IAM, Identity Center and various interactive features. You can download this tool from this official website and it is available for Windows as well as Mac OS and Linux operating system and Amazon Linux and see AWS CLI pre-install and Amazon Linux AMI images. So what that it means if you try to launch Amazon Linux by default it will be available but rest of the Linux operating system you have to download unzip and then we have to run this one and the installation options are given here so let me go to the my Amazon console and currently you can see I am in my Mumbai region and if I refresh my EC2 dashboard currently there is no EC2 instance here okay so first of all I am going to demonstrate you how to install a basic EC2 instance in any uh, region or in AWS platform and then with the help of this instance we will launch another EC2 instance using AWS CLI console tool okay so just click on the launch instance and launch okay give it a nice name uh, say demo could be anything scroll down go the rest of the default settings these are the AMI images you can set the AMI images what you required instance type is under free tier account so i have a t2 macro go with the t2 macro key name it's it is it's very important for us and key is not there so what you will do you will create the key pair and if you have existing one you can go with that one so i i mentioned the name say demo I scroll down create a key pair yeah it's successfully created and downloaded under my download folder and uh, network setting i go with the default vpc subnet id and firewall settings and rest of the things so I just say uh, simple click launch instance and it will take hardly one minute and it will launch it so I can click view all instance and uh, you can see that the important information like name instance ID current the state and if I click this one you can see security networking storage status check this is the public IP this is the private IP and current status is pending so it taking some time so if I can refresh yeah it is there currently it is in running condition availability zone by default it's a default condition right so we can click that one and we can simply connect so instance connect okay the by default name is ec2 hyphen user we can click on connect and we can successfully connect yep i am logging so login with sudo privilege first i go with the root account and say aws hyphen hyphen version hey you can see that aws hyphen cli is by default available so this is they are trying to explain uh, if you go with aws cli is come pre-installed on amazon linux ami so no need to worry about that if you are going with the amazon linux is by default available so no need to worry about that but if you are going with windows and other operating system you will go with the documentation from here and you can download and install it okay so let's start uh, how we can install another ec2 instance or another amazon linux or another any ec2 instance from here from this command line prompt right sorry so what i will do i will create a one programmatic user from im console and provide him ec2 full access permission and we'll save secret and access key for the credential purpose okay so i click here i go to the im console open a new tab okay so currently I don't have any user let me create a user say username could be anything I give the nice name say Bob okay go with the programmatic access I don't require any uh, management console access say next assign the policy say go to the EC2 full access Amazon EC2 full access or you can also give the administrative access as per your need next create and uh, okay here it is the access key and the secret key which I required so you can download it it's important for you okay so let's go back again here 
and let me type AWS configure. So once I click on the AWS configure, they will ask me access key ID and secret key ID. So just simple copy and paste here. And if you have downloaded, that's good for you. So right click and paste. Yeah. Again, go back here. Copy the entire key. Right click copy. Paste one more time. Yep. Reason name where you want to configure your launch your EC2 instances or from where you have to perform this option. So the, uh, it's by default. I currently I'm in Mumbai AP hyphen South hyphen one. So you can go AP hyphen South hyphen one. Sorry. Output format will be JSON, tax bit format, table bit format. So I go with the tax. Okay. So now I have successfully configured my AWS account from AWS CLI mode. Now we can start the process. We can la start the things how we can going to launch EC2 instances and whatever we are going to do that. So all commands and options are available on AWS CLI documentation here and you can grab it from there from and for the time saving purpose I have downloaded uh, important commands in my notepad file. So let me copy from there and then I will explain one by one. Okay. So where is my notepad file? Here it is. Okay. So guys, uh, let's start with the first one which is creating key pair and the security key. Okay, so I'm here. So the most important step is to create a key pair. The, this key pair is must be kept safe and secure with the user so that the person can access the EC2 instance created using this key pair. Okay, so now to create the key pair, uh, I will follow this command. So let me copy this one and then I will explain one by one. Okay, so let me clear the screen, right click and simple paste. So I press enter. Okay, so what what this command is saying? Uh, here we have created a new file named Linux key pair file with .pam extension, and the downloaded file is location is my current directory. Okay, so query parameter is required. AWS EC2 create key pair. The key name is Linux and query and query key key pair is a uh, is parameter is required. It's because you can only retrieve a private key at the time that the corresponding key pair is created. So the query parameter acquired the data that is needed in order to generate the private key file. The query should always be set to key material. Okay. And if I run the ls command, you can see linux.pam here. And if I go back on here and go to my EC2 dashboard, and if, or if I refresh here, you can see that two key pairs available. One is the demo which uh, during the EC2 launch via AWS console is created and now currently the next one is Linux. Okay, go back again. Now second part is that uh, let's create a security group by another command. Okay, so how to create the security group? So for the this one I have the another command which is this one. So let me copy one more time and paste it here. So in this command what I'm doing I am creating a new security group 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 name is my security group and the next nice description is my security group okay so they, this command uh, it will create a new security group and this security group will be gen generated under default vpc even you can mention your own vpc id if you have your own custom vpc okay now let me add the port number 22 in this security group for ssi structure currently there is a no port is a no port is assigned with my inbound rule okay so what will the command command is very easy just I'm copying here and right click and paste it here. So AWS EC2 authorized security groups increase that is inbound rule group name is my security group and the protocol is TCP and port number 2020 and go with the default route option that is C0.0.0.0. .0 so let me check the security group in AWS console. So again here I am here on EC2 dashboard if I refresh let me go with the security group now you can see that uh, one one is the default one that is the launch during the aws web console process and this is the my security group so if i click on the my security group and if i check that one see if i go over there and click here under the inbound rule as such is allowed got it so this is my security group name okay now go back here again so now uh yeah here so now move to the final move the which is uh, how to launch the ec2 instance so if you want to launch the ec2 instance what you will need to do you have to run this command okay let me copy this one 
paste it here so uh, at this step you will need an AMI images this AMI images and uh, uh, images ID for this you can log into the AWS console and choose any AMI for of your type and copy the image ID and replace it uh, here in place of AMI ID also you can use your key pair name the security group ID subnet ID at the correct place in upper command and here I'm going to default VPC and subnet ID right so I need to change this one so let me copy another ID from my launch instance so just wait let me copy uh, another ID say let me log in with Red Hat okay let me check AWS is available over there or not so just copy that one so I'm right click copy and go back again my instance and replace it so rest of the things are it's okay for me I need to replace that one okay right click and paste and press enter so let's see yeah you can see currently status is pending okay and okay let me check the status this is my instance id 75a okay so if i am here if i am can click cancel and earlier there is only one now if i refresh you can see that instance is two okay and yep 75a sounds good see you can check it and uh, if you want to uh, view the instance detail from AWS console we can give the instance ID and get the required information right so the command is for if you want to grab the more information you can go with AWS EC2 describe instances let me copy and paste all the information is there right so you can see it's a default and currently it is in running condition so if I go back again here and see even I can check and connect it one more time see if I click on connect say connect okay take some time just wait for a couple of minutes might be it is in under process okay so this is how you can just create and launch the EC2 instances and default is my security group you can check the security group from here and uh, uh, the AP South one so let me check again click on here say connect now it's not connected from here okay no need to worry about that I can click copy the SSID from here the complete path and I can go on my on my download folder where I have downloaded and I can copy and open my git bash utility from here and I can check it from here also so no need to worry about that so let me make it large for you okay so right click and paste I think it's not successfully copied okay let me copy one more time command copy okay right click paste are you sure to continue say yes okay it is not there why why I'm not be able to access because I have to if I you are trying to access from here you either you can access from this one or or you can connect it from here let it be check connect because the next code dot key pan 5 is there now so I'm not be able to log in here no need to worry about that so let me copy the path Linux dot pam the pam file is not there so I can log in here where is my pam file here is my pam file okay no need to worry about that just copy and press enter are you sure to continue yes I am uh, product key unprotected private key file okay I need to give the permission ch mode for linux.pam let me check yes to the system within yes I'm logging Create etc red hat release yeah see it's red hat release 9.0 and if i type here sudo su do sudo hyphen and if i type aws hyphen hyphen version you can see that aws cli is not available because this is etc red hat release this is a red hat operating system 
got it so this this, uh, this is the reason they are clearly mentioned here the aws cli is pre-installed with amazon linux but another linux you have to download and install it i hope this is clear to you right so i go back again on my and uh, on my the amazon machine etc say red hat really uh, say os release let me check this is amazon amazon linux okay so this uh, even you can terminate stop reboot perform all action as per need suppose if you want to terminate this instance so what you will need to do so if i go back here and you want to terminate then just take this ip or you need instance id so you have to take this instance id and you can do whatever you want suppose you want to terminate then what will the command the command will be instance ids so you have to mention aws ec to terminate and instance ids so i just copy it right click paste one more time and the instance id so instance id is this one which recently launched and this is the reddit machine remember right click paste and press enter so it's shutting down okay so now if i refresh currently it is in running condition if i refresh say it is in shutting down condition okay so guys this is how you can work with the this magical tool this is aws cli in aws platform and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please <coughs> please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye